If you clicked on this video, it's because you missed my beautiful, gorgeous face and you wanted to see how I got this beautiful, beautiful makeup beat. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's been a fat minute. I know, I'm sorry. Kill me now. I'm literally so sorry. But I'm just a human being who needs a break sometimes and i also didn't have my camera for like a while so that's why i didn't film and i have no storage on my phone but i just got the iphone 15 so i'm good like if i don't post next week you guys can shoot me because i have no excuses to not post anymore because i'm at a pretty good stable place right now so i'm back and ready to be filming for you guys i'm so 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 excited to start the new year on a good foot but yeah let me shut the fuck up and get into this video if you want to see how i beat this beautiful thing keep watching because we're gonna get into the tea but yeah enjoy come back to my channel guys it's been so 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 long since i've been on youtube or even talked to a camera like it's been months of course i got my 20 ounce red bull here i don't condone drinking red bulls but i'm a really big fan of red bulls and i can't help it like <laughs> I just need a Red Bull. But I'm so excited to be filming again. Like, <laughs> I'm just so excited to film. Like, after this, I'm gonna get straight to editing because I've been on a really, like, creative type of mood lately. So, I'm really, really, really excited to be talking to you guys again and just vlogging. It's literally my happy place. I'm just gonna do my makeup and talk to you guys tell you guys where i've been what's new oh my god so today i'm just gonna film a get ready with me kind of just talk to you guys and tell you guys where i've been and what's new and honestly i feel like dropping some tea today so i'm gonna even do like some story times really excited my face is about to get real red i did do my eyebrows off camera because they take me so long because i literally cut my eyebrows off they're catfish eyebrows i'm gonna be real honest with you <laughs> um i like cut the ends off because my eyebrows just go down here but i cut them straight because i kind of wanted to give my eyes like more space and honestly i really love my eyebrows right now it's just i'm like a bald rat like i'm not even joking if you guys want to see an eyebrow tutorial on how i get to my eyebrows like this i will do one on tiktok which i will link right here so you guys can go follow me i've been posting on tiktok a lot more so when i'm not on youtube i'm most likely on tiktok I'm putting my primer now but for instagram so make sure to follow my other social medias if you guys want to keep up with me i do post a lot sometimes i feel like i'm annoying but i honestly don't care <laughs> this is the one i use i recently went on like a little sephora haul and i got this i think it's urban yeah urban decay on Eyder ultra glow face primer and it does not work with me whatsoever i'm pretty sure it's good it's just not my skin type like when i put it on it just flakes yeah i do have a new routine this is like my current like most up-to-date routine what i do every day whether it's full glam or natural glam like i literally do the same thing because i don't use foundation i just use concealer so let's get into it once again thank you guys so much for still sticking with me and watching this video after i've been gone so long and let's get into the details like where i've been because shorty just because i dip from youtube that does not mean life got easier so i'm just gonna get right into it starting with okay so i prepped my face these are new products that i got they're the patrick tall oh my god they're so dirty contour and bronzer duo literally love her like so much so oh, i actually got um a new job well basically two new jobs I left my old job got a better job literally love my job so much um i love all my co-workers um the ultimate goal is to quit my nine to five i think about that every day like i literally cannot wait to quit and work on my own time that's that and then i also started doing social media like content for this company if you guys are Dodger fans from LA rep your city and come out to the Dodger games with us it's literally so much fun I just started that about two weeks ago um I post their videos on TikTok I edit them I reply to comments all types of stuff like that so that's where I've also been when I'm not at my nine to five I am doing content and honestly I've been really busy but I 
cannot complain like i literally love what i do so yeah that's like where i've been at in terms of like working and you know getting my paper straight baby yeah i'm very happy with how all of that is going i literally cannot wait for 2024 because i just feel like also before i get into that i'm gonna use the patrick ta blush so bomb a cream and powder duo in the shade she's a doll and getting into 2024 i just feel like i'm gonna work i don't want to say it's gonna be my year but i am gonna put in the work and the effort to make it my year 2023 honestly was really like a learning year i started the year single i was in a three-year relationship so this was a year of learning and growth and just figuring things out by myself and for myself it was a really great year like honestly this was probably one of the best years of my life i literally did so much i started youtube i went on like my first solo trip with my friends i just did so many things like alone like even the simple things like okay i look crazy <laughs> even simple things like going out to eat by myself like i would have never done that i did a lot of first this year these that were super scary like i have like kind of bad anxiety so i can honestly say i'm super proud of myself i know i look really scary but just trust the process so yeah this year was honestly really good like i don't have any regrets whatsoever a really good year so that's why when it's 2024 i just feel a lot better okay i'm gonna go ahead and place my contour i use the born this way contour oh my god not me exposed but i'm gonna go ahead and put my con bitch concealer in the areas that i most needed which is everywhere so i'm just gonna put it like that and then a little right there i'm trying not to get my hair in it so put my hair back and scare y'all real fast like this and my beauty blender is not wet okay so i just wet my beauty blender and i really like this concealer because it doesn't dry fast i'm sorry if i'm like not looking at the camera looking at myself because <laughs> why wouldn't i but yeah i really love this concealer because it doesn't dry fast and it's very like creamy which i really like i'm just gonna go ahead and blend this out really fast okay i blended it trust the process i know i still look crazy don't worry yeah going into 2024 i'm very excited i just feel like i'm on a really good stepping stool and all i gotta do is keep climbing the ladder like all you really need is a good opportunity to just take off i'm very excited but when i do my concealer i leave it i do one side at a time because right after i blend it out i set it really fast with loose powder and i use the one from chanel in the shade natural girl i don't even know translucent i did get the huge the beauty one in like the banana bread it's way too yellow so i don't even use it but i don't really know if i like it either way so i'm gonna blend it out now Sometimes I go in with like a second, like a little dot, but I'm not today. I'm just gonna set it. Honestly, guys, I've just been really like, I don't even know what era I'm in right now. I'm kind of just like, I want to say lost, but still like figuring out what the fuck I'm doing with my life. I don't know. See, the thing is, I know what I'm doing, but I don't. I'm kind of just faking it till I make it. Look at how bomb that looks. Just think one day i'm gonna wake up and i'm gonna make it <laughs> that's how delusional i am like i'm not even joking like i just literally think like one day i'm gonna wake up and there's gonna be 10 million dollars in my bank account <laughs> some say delusion i say manifestation i've been struggling a lot with anxiety a lot like it's just gotten really bad like anytime i have noticed it a lot when i leave my house i just have so much anxiety like whether i'm at work or when i go to the gym I go by myself i get so anxious like i did not like leaving my room or like my house like for a week straight actually i know where it started let me tell you guys about this story so during halloween like halloween weekend um you know how everybody goes crazy i've always been like a halloween weekend girl myself like me and my friends take it very seriously to go out that weekend 
so this was the thursday of Halloween weekend you get me thursday friday saturday so it's the thursday and i am in college i want to say kind of i don't know i took a semester off so yes no i like have some friends that are in like a fraternity and some in a sorority so i do have some friends at college so we got invited to a frat party and i've only been to two and the first two were like horrible like they were just so boring and then so i was like hey maybe this is not gonna be too crazy like i'm literally expecting like nothing get ready we get her costume we pre-game girls apartments like the school apartments i think i have like i had one beatbox and one shot of tequila and it was a baby shot and all my friends know that i hold my liquor very well like it is extremely hard for me to black out or to just be like like i can't like i need to go home like that has never ever happened to me i'm like i'm not a lightweight whatsoever it's just a little backstory of how i am when i'm drinking so we get to the frat party and it's like a horror story we get to the frat party you know i say hi to like the people that i know i'm still drinking out of like another beatbox i think i was barely on my second one when we got there and i had like one shot of the biggie ball and then after that we start playing rage cage i don't know how to explain that game but it's like beer pong flip the cup whatever like those little games so we start playing that but i didn't really know how to play so my friends were playing and when they lost, they didn't want to drink like the cup that, I don't know, like the cup of, I don't even know what it was. That's my first mistake. I don't know what was in that cup. So they didn't want to take it, but I was like, fuck it, I'll take it for you because I don't care. And then that was like my first like big mistake. Like I should not have drank that because it was like this much of whatever it was. So I drank it for them twice. So I had two cups of whatever this is for my friends. After that, I don't remember nothing, nothing me and my friend so the girl that i was with we were like with five girls i only knew one because she's like my best friend and the rest of the girls were like girls that she knew and she's went out with before they were all angels like honestly all those girls were the sweetest because they took care of me when things went bad so after that i don't remember anything the night was just like a blur i remember i lost my friend and i lost my wallet so i just remember like bits and pieces of me, me like trying to find my wallet but super drunk and I don't know who was helping me but some girls were with me like helping me i just remember sitting on a couch and asking for water because i couldn't oh my god this is so embarrassing guys like i'm not proud of this moment at all but i just remember like everything <laughs> everything just came out all over my skirt was red <laughs> From the beatbox it was just disgusting like throw up all over me and if you go to a frat party once you throw up girl you're out you are out of there so i just remember throwing up like i couldn't walk out like these girls were like helping me walk who got us to uber home me and my friends still don't know to this day i don't know how i got back home and my friend said that i peed in a bucket <laughs> don't remember that at all it sounds like me but like i don't remember that and then the next morning was just a shit show like i was so lost i don't remember nothing i was throwing up like i was shaking it was terrible like and after that like i didn't touch alcohol for a whole month i had no energy yeah that was really like bad and really scary like i don't know what happened but that's that is where i remember now that after that day my anxiety just went really bad and i just did not want to go out anymore like the whole november i stood home i didn't want to do anything it was really bad but now that like me and my friends like back at it like it's so funny to us but i don't condone that please be careful when you go out even with people you know like just be very careful okay i'm gonna wipe the powder off now but yeah that was like my horror story that was just really 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 bad oh and i lost my wallet that night my, my lv wallet that my mom gifted me oh my god mom if you're watching this okay i'm gonna do some mascara now oh my god let me tell you guys i actually do get lip filler i know i don't really talk about it or even post it but i do get questions and i obviously i'm not gonna lie about it like um i have about two syringes in me right now but it's like dissolved already because it's been like a couple months and 
it's obviously gone but i really really want to get it again I, I honestly 10 out of 10 recommend i'm not saying go out there and get your lips done or go get cosmetic or redone or whatever if you're just been like you need change or you're thinking about it or you're scared of it girl literally you only live once so just do it i love it it was such like a big 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 confidence booster once i got it i literally did not want to stop i will say though the pain is the 12 out of 10 i know a lot of people but like from girls that i've seen get them done nobody ever talks about how painful it is like i just think i have like a low pain tolerance but i know i don't because i have so many tattoos i literally got my <laughs> gucci sliced open this year like I know my pain tolerance is not low, but when I get my lips done, I will be crying, like crying a river when I get the done. Like I have to squeeze something so hard. While my mascara dries, I'm gonna go ahead and do my lip liner. I do use a brown eyeshadow. Sometimes I use a lip liner, but I really like brown eyeshadow. So I'm just gonna, I know I look really scary, but trust the process. I think I'm gonna do NYX today. Actually, I have I got this new lip gloss from Too Faced. She's a lip plumping one. Um, it's this one in the shade Say My Name, Say My Name. When no one is around, you say baby I love. I don't know about you guys, but so I use eyeshadow for my lips, and even when I use lip liner, my eyeshadow throughout the day will like go around my lips if that makes sense like my natural lip line it will go outside of it even though right now it looks fine later it will look like chocolate syrup around my lips i kid you not like three people have told me that and i'm like it's my lip liner okay i'm gonna glue my lashes on now and i just use like these small tiny lashes and glue them on the end so i want to do that and then that is my love life is so boring it's just like nobody intrigues me whatsoever like yeah i don't know i tried it out for a while didn't work it was bad i'm not gonna lie i'm a really delusional like i'm a delusional ad but i don't know if it's delusion or it's just like real i honestly love just gluing the ends on i think it just looks so much more natural and it really gives you the cat eye effect i get so many compliments on my lashes when i do this so 10 out of 10 recommend but yeah so let me tell you guys so i was talking to this guy right <laughs> okay not really well and i was real delusional like real delusional like real delusional and so we were talking and he was telling me about a car he wanted to get right oh my god i hope <laughs> i hope nobody watches this video who knows <laughs> but um, he was telling me about this car he wanted to get and i was like cool whatever you know pretending i'm interested whatever and then i was telling him about the cars that i want and what's my dream car and if you know me you know i'm a benz girly till the day i die so i was telling him and he did not want to mention a benz so i was like I right, shawty do your thing go get your car go you so whatever that's like the end of that conversation a week later tell me why he gets a Benz and I'm like you never mentioned you wanted a Benz and I'm like am I crazy or am I crazy because you guys tell me in the comments am I tripping out was I tripping or what because I was like low-key salty I was like did you just steal my dream car because you never mentioned it I'm like it's just men want to be me so bad like oh my god can I win can I win? But yeah, that's my delusional story. I still, to this day, don't think I'm being delusional, but whatever. But this is the end of my makeup. I think she looks really good. This is my everyday makeup routine. No foundation, just concealer. And I think she literally eats. Thank you guys so, so much for watching again so sorry for always going mia but life happens i'm just a human being going through life the same way you guys are but i'm so so excited to be putting out a video again and just talking to the camera and it being myself and 
I just love it so much. So thank you guys so much for continuing to watch my video. Click, take time out of your day to watch me and listen to me talk about. If you're also wondering why I sound like I'm a fucking badass bitch and I can't breathe, it's because I'm just congested. So I really can't breathe, but I just keep like having to take breaks. You guys don't know how many breaks I took filming this video. But yeah, this is my updated me. Oh my God, I also don't have braces anymore. I don't know why I didn't address that. But yeah, my braces are off. I'm a brand new bitch. I'm just really ready to take on the new year with only you guys. Oh, it's gonna be a year since I started, so don't mind me for getting emotional. Ugh, I can't breathe. But yeah, thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you guys want an eyebrow tutorial again, go look at my TikTok because I am going to be posting one tomorrow. And yeah, turn on your post notifications. Thank you so much for watching. I love all you gorgeous, gorgeous girls and guys. Bye.